All right. Thank you so much, Bob, for joining us. Um, we are now live. Thank you, Kenna. Uh, appreciate this opportunity to be with everyone today. We decided that uh, one of our weekly webinars here early on would be uh, designed around the opportunity to just tell you our story, uh, the, our pitch, uh, and uh, take some questions from those of you in the audience. Uh, we're grateful for all of you that have tuned in already and uh, expect that we'll see quite a few more folks join us here in a few minutes. So what I would like to do is just jump into this and uh, present. Uh, this will take 15 or 20 minutes. And then if you wouldn't mind uh, thinking what your questions might be, and, and we'll open this up and try to get as many people uh, through a Q&A as we can possibly get today. So with that, I'll just uh, share my screen here and um, go from there. We are um, currently going through uh, our Zenny Home pitch. Um, our mission is to produce the highest quality, affordable or attainable housing anywhere in the world that is smart, transforming, scalable, sustainable, I'll add stackable, and built with the speed and precision of robotic manufacturing. Uh, this, is what we're, this is what we're doing. Uh, in America, the site-built housing market is about 95% of everything built. In Sweden, on the other hand, uh, a company that took our example when George Romney was in charge of HUD, uh, Sweden went home and really implemented prefab in a big way. And today, Sweden builds 80% of all of their homes in factories. So we've really partnered up and looked carefully at the Swedes uh, to see what they've learned since the 1970s when America kind of went back to just site building and doing less prefab. There's two kinds of prefab homes though. There's the HUD manufactured homes where you see mobile panelized manufactured homes there. And then there's the newer thing that is current building code, IBC, International Building Code, International Residential Code, building to the same exact standards as site-built homes. And that's what we do. We are in the second category there to the right. We're a volumetric construction company. We build everything and equip it, paint it, put furnishings in it, and deliver everything from the factory to the job site. We have two models. This is very, very important. We'll talk today a little bit about a little bit about snowflakes, basically a, a new floor plan, and we don't do that. We have uh, where people are sending different sets of plans to a factory to be built. That's basically have two models like a car. If we were talking Tesla today, we'd be to live, but it's small. It's uh, really designed talking about maybe a Tesla Model Y for this model, the smaller model. It's a, a one bedroom or a studio unit with everything in it that you need for a couple or one person. Uh, we, we have taken full advantage of the shipping container standardization worldwide, eight feet wide, 20 feet long, and we bumped the height from eight feet to 10 and a half feet to give a more spacious feel and a more elegant, luxurious feel on the inside. And we put two of these together because we don't think it's possible to live comfortably in eight feet wide. And so we have a 16 foot wide home. 20 foot by 16 is 320 square feet with lots of deck space. And then we have, in addition, a model that's two bedrooms and uh, is two 40 foot containers married together. And that is our larger unit. And you can see they're highly designed. We did not convert shipping containers. We are using shipping container dimensions in order to be comfortable uh, with uh, the units, inside the units and comfortable shipping the units. We are green, smart, and robotic. Um, we think that it's important uh, that if you're gonna have a smaller space, uh, to be living in, that it has to have furniture designed and architected to fit and work in that space. So we have designed our homes around uh, the Ori furniture that was developed at MIT in 
2015 to 2019. Um, and they went commercial at that point. Um, so our homes are designed around in our unit and you can see that the bed goes up and down and then uh, around that. We have the, this is a king size bed. I'm actually sitting on the sofa right now. Um, uh, a living room during the day. It's also an office. So this is a bedroom at night. Uh, this is a, um, this is a during the day in one side of the unit and we'll show you the other side in a moment. So we believe that one room can become actually three rooms um, if you design properly and use this new transforming furniture. As a result of that, you can live larger in a smaller space. Smaller space means more affordable. You're not paying for as many square feet. Um, so that's what we're doing with the transforming furniture. We have built them to be shipped because they are in the dimensions of shipping containers. This is a, a step deck because we added a, a two and a half extra feet of height uh, from a normal shipping container. Uh, we do a step deck um, on the semi-trailer um, and then it fits perfectly uh, 40 feet long. Uh, if we have the smaller unit, it's two 20 foot units I, to deliver one small home. And it's built to be shipped by truck that make one. So it takes two semis to deliver one large home, one semi by train, by ship with no special permits, no escort cars going down the road, no special routes. Um, so that's what we think is beautiful about the dimensions we're using. We have a factory, uh, a factory in Page, Arizona. We hired workers uh, affected by the Navajo generating station was the largest coal plant west of the Mississippi in the United States. Uh, well over two gigawatts generating station shutdown. They let a thousand people go in 2019. Uh, this factory, the Navajo Gen Canyon and the, the really Monument Valley and other beautiful areas in that area of power generated by this coal plant. The environmental community had been at war with them because of the Grand Canyon that uh, Lake Powell, um, and they just wanted it gone. And finally, the environmental community succeeded in closing it. And we uh, looked at that as an opportunity to have these thousand highly trained workers that are Navajo members of the nation, uh, who are some of the best code welders in, in the world, uh, fantastic craftsmen, carpenters, electricians, plumbers, et cetera. And as we were, as we found out, sure enough, we opened the factory. We have 120 people working there today. And we have uh, over 300 people waiting to come to work that have applied to work for us. You might remember this is what happened in 2020. Several billion dollars of this coal plant capital cost went down that day on December 20th, 2020. And this very large coal plant became history. So we walked in for all the buildings that were left over and we leased the facility. And we planned four of these around the country. This one that covers most of the Southwest, all, this, all the California West Coast the Phoenix, Arizona, Tucson area, all the way to the Mexican border population, which is uh, arguably the fastest. We cover Vegas, Denver, Albuquerque, out of the Page facility. We can address roughly a 90 million U.S. growing part of the United States in this first factory, all within a one truck day of our, and then we're looking at a Midwest and uh, Southern. We may end up being in Atlanta or uh, Eastern Kentucky, Western Pennsylvania. We're still looking at sites uh, for the fourth site there. And with this, we'll be able to do well over a billion dollars of, of revenue factory, uh, our plant. So we are excited about this first step. Uh, we have another one that we plan to build in uh, probably Moses Lake, Washington from these four factories. We are a factory that does not build in wood. We are steel. Uh, this is one of our chassis. There are two chassis for every home. 
This is a 40 foot long, eight foot wide, 10 and a half foot tall steel chassis. If you, it's, it's a little deceptive here. These are 12 inch by three inch C channels on the bottom all the way around. The corners are all six by six, five eighths inch thick steel. Uh, this is all red steel um, uh, built and fabricated uh, three miles from our factory at Page Steel. And these units come over in these pieces. We put them on the squaring jig, get it perfectly square. The tensile, the strength of steel uh, is because, because of its durability, tensile strength, lifespan, and stackability. And then we um, basically make sure everything's welded so that the box stays in square. Uh, our light gauge steel in panels are galvanized for 140 years before they rust. Um, and the red steel is painted. This, this steel will last uh, much, much longer than anything would. And the beauty is you can stack this five stories above a one-story podium, which is what we're doing on our first project in Mesa, Arizona, 90 units over a concrete podium, a grocery store. And uh, we uh, ex fully expect that that will be uh, completely um, wonderful without any exterior steel uh, or exoskeleton. We just bolt these together after the welding on the squaring station. Uh, there's no more uh, welding. Everything's done by bolting after this as we put the units together. We are crafted from durable and sustainable recycled steel. Uh, we engineer homes to one millimeter precision, enabling us to do these structures over a very, very tall building um, and five stories high over podium. The top floor of our building is at 75 feet. It's a very, with steel, you can do this, this mid-rise very comfortably. Uh, we uh, fully expect to implement adva advanced manufacturing, uh, KUKA, ABB, or ABB uh, robots that will help uh, minimize the need for heavy lifting, manufacturing company, uh, advanced manufacturing, and heavy work. Uh, this will look much, much more like a car manufacturing factory than it will uh, a current home factory uh, manufacturing facility that you would see today. We build um, these two units we talked about here on the left and the homes we build to put on the ground for seeing far right picture is our 29 West project in downtown Mesa. That is 90 homes and they're the same home family homes or casitas or ADUs, the same exact unit stack. Um, and so you'll see the grocery store on the main floor there. This is at a light rail stop on light rail in Mesa at center in Maine next to the Mesa Art Center, the new film school, Sydney Potier Film School for ASU, and the Mesa City Hall. The city loves this. The state of Arizona loves this design. It's fully approved and, and permitted, and we start a building uh, on this site. We're having our, our groundbreaking uh, for the, for the uh, foundations that are going in on Monday at 10 o'clock in Mesa. We have 90 units on one half of an acre with 28 parking spaces and a small grocery store under podium. So that's uh, even before we've done a public 100,000 view, that is the density that would be rivaled in many large cities with high rise apartments, 90 units on a half acre. We have over 40,000 people that have inquired and want these unit backlog. It's about 75% multifamily developers. Um, people, the launch, all of that has been done by word of mouth through vi being viral a bit and unpaid organic traffic. And over 400 now, it's well over five is on unprompted fan generated content. Today, if you looked at our 40,000 soft order developer development community is just unable to handle the uh, cost of labor, the unavailability of labor and materials. And what they love is they can basically place an order, have a fixed price, and know that most of the cost of this building is gonna be done in a factory on time at a certain cost with no change orders. They love that idea. That's the future. Um, this, the other 22% uh, is government. This could be Navajo Nation wanting affordable housing. It could be uh, FEMA housing. It could be housing for migrants on the border, seeking asylum, et cetera. 
uh, we also have um, three percent of our units that are coming from people wanting an off-grid an ADU or a single family home in the backyard. Our first units are installed and operable in downtown Mesa. You can schedule a tour to see them uh, anytime you'd like. Uh, I say anytime, we don't do Sunday, we don't do Monday, but you can see it Tuesday through Saturday and uh, just get online and schedule that. We also will give tours of our factory and page. Uh, we've been in production since uh, the first quarter of 2023. We have some units uh, covered and uh, ready to go to customers in outside our factory today and loading in some of the boxes that will go into the 29 West uh, project that's uh, the 90 units over podium. We have perfected the two base units that can be used individually just as a, a rambler type home out anywhere around your pool, in your backyard, etc or those same units can be stacked as we talked about on this 29 West project. Our 29 West uh, project can be duplicated here in the state of Arizona without re-engineering uh, another apartment building anywhere in the state. Uh, the state uh, Department of Housing has approved this complex and uh, we already know of one other company that wants to build this a block away from the one in Mesa on Center Street in Mesa. So. We're excited we'll see this uh, unit with different color cladding uh, popping up everywhere. What's, in, what's fun is you can now do this though in any configuration that you would like. This is a triplex. Imagine a studio apartment on the bottom and then two two bedroom units above it, uh, just connected with stairs. Uh, here's a triplex on a 16 by 40 foot slab or a piece of, piece of land. And this gives you a sense of all the different combinations. We have the two units, the small and the large, one's half the size of the other, and they can be stacked small on top, small on the bottom. Um, we can turn them for interest and architectural intrigue sideways, perpendicular to each other. Uh, the brown color you see is our chases that connect power and water to the, to the ground. Um, there's a triplex there, there's a fourplex, um, and then there's two of our larger units uh, just offset. I'm actually building one of these right now about four blocks from here uh, that has the two two bedrooms stacked offset to get a garage underneath. By constraining ourselves to the same base units, the large and the small, it allows us to, to have the factory set up to build with unprecedented speed, quality, and cost, just like cars. Uh, we don't build cars anymore, custom or on site. We think it's time to stop building homes and apartments that way, hotels, dorms, uh, extended stay hotels, etc. We can do this um, in a factory and do it at speed with quality and cost. Here are units fully finished in the factory. Um, these are just getting ready for cladding to be assembled. You can see they have windows. Um, the, the miraculous thing here is we don't see any breaking of windows because the, the steel chassis is so stiff. Uh, it protects the glass. It doesn't twist and bounce around in route. These were some of our first units we shipped. If you'll notice in the far right hand picture, the pick points, I think, unlike any other unit in America, the pick points are on top of the box with hooks and the strapping does not go under the unit. It's completely picked from on top. This is infinitely more easy when you're stacking these on a building. You're not cutting straps, wasting $750 straps. You can pick it, uh, undo the pick points at the top, just like other steel picks. And uh, when you unstrap these, the glass and everything is intact. So uh, they're so strong, you can just pick these from the top and uh, ship them ship them, load them on trucks, unload them from trucks uh, that way. Uh, this gives you a sense of how we do a one unit on the ground. We pour the podium, the, the concrete piers, put a steel uh, receiver on top of that. The first box is set, the second box is set. The deck pops up and uh, is finished on site. This comes with the unit, the Breeze Soleil. The solar units come with the unit if that's what you want. We connect the utilities on the outside. We spend a, a day or two on the inside doing the mate line or the marriage line. 
uh, where things crossed over the middle and you're done. You, you can move in. Um, most common comment from customers is that these feel much bigger than I expected uh, when, you, when you walk in. Uh, so uh, people look at the square footage and they, they feel like um, there's um, a shocking amount of space inside. And because of the robotic furniture, it gives each room three uses. So we don't do custom floor plans. We don't do a new custom build. Uh, you order this like you'd order a car. You choose a unit, the smaller, the large. You pick your exterior, interior colors. It comes furnished. The space and the transforming furniture has been optimized by world-class designers, and it obviates the need for a custom floor plan because it's just an open plan, and the furniture creates the room you want when you want it. It's a large market. Two and trillion dollar U.S. housing units sold each year, and uh, uh, not units, but dollars of, of housing sold every year. And then we have about 150 billion just in the Southwest here where we will be shipping from Page. The two big crises in America is the shortage of housing, six and a half million homes were short, uh, and the second issue is affordability. They've almost doubled in price since 2000. So you have affordability and availability that is causing this double whammy to our housing situation and has created shortages and uh, made, made it impossible for many people to be able to even afford a home. We're competitively positioned to build highly designed, sophisticated, but yet attainable cost homes. Uh, we have a lot of really awesome competitors that build beautiful units that are in the, the bottom uh, quadrant there on the right-hand side, uh, but they are more expensive. And uh, then we have competitors that are doing uh, a more bare-bones approach, uh, less designed, but trying to get the price uh, to be less expensive, and we respect them for what they're trying to do. We're trying to hang in that upper right quadrant. Uh, where we have a high design and a very affordable price. For three years, we've meticulously refined our design, the prototyping, certification, licensing, and engineering. Uh, so as we come out of the silo here, we have a great team here. As we debut, we stand as an industry front runner, we believe, strides ahead of the competition with uh, what, we're, what we're launching. We're all, um, myself um, and Connie, and Chris, uh, PwC alums, CPAs. Uh, Connie also worked at IBM. Uh, when I was 35, I started SkyMall, the in-flight shopping catalog. I've taken several companies public. Uh, I think that's probably in our future here as well, given the retail interest in our product. Uh, Stephen James and Trevor Barger are the two top master planners and architects, uh, architectural guys in Utah and uh, Arizona, Trevor has master planned uh, DC Ranch for us, uh, started and authored the original Daybreak uh, master plan community in Salt Lake. Uh, well over 2,000, 3,000 homes, Auto Eastmark and many other uh, very high-end master plan communities. Stephen James, beautiful, beautiful uh, development, award-winning national awards. Um, Stephen is a genius. He's the one that designed our units from scratch. Uh, has a very fine taste, has written books, uh, kind of Scandinavian, um, trained um, designer architect from the University of Minnesota, where they really like Scandinavian architecture, which, wor which works really well for us because Scandinavian is minimalist. It's also boxy. And we're, after all, creating everything out of a box. So uh, we, we think uh, he's been great there. Chris Loeffler, one of our major shareholders, in our seed round um, uh, and also is the owner of the first um, uh, mid-rise project at 29 West. Um, had breakfast with him this morning, very excited. Uh, Mindy Rex uh, was the co-founder of the largest and most advanced factory in America today up in Boise, Idaho called AutoVol. Stands for an automated factory for volumetric um, units. And uh, they build uh, thousands of units for California out of Boise, Idaho. Their factory was finished. It's 500,000 square feet, uh, quite automated. 
um, and they're getting about five or six homes a day out of that factory. Very, very um, impressive board. What does the future look like? We're poised for rapid expansion. We're actively working on a joint venture with the Navajo Nation. Uh, we're in discussions to manufacture homes for their housing needs as well. Um, the, the quote we're using uh, with the president of the nation, uh, President Boo Nigren, is these are homes built on the Navajo Nation by Navajo workers for Navajos to live in. And so very excited about steel and longevity. Their homes typically don't last more than 20 or 30 years. Um, very tough shape uh, because they're very uh, lightly built frame, wood frame uh, manufactured housing uh, built to HUD code. And uh, they're excited to have some really high quality stuff that will last 50 to 100 years. Denny Home X is our in-house laboratory where we're looking at innovations. Uh, we love Ori. We also love Bumblebee, what they're doing in San Francisco, the Google guys there. Uh, we're looking for other companies to come and show us some automated walls that move and, and uh, new innovations. And we plan to incorporate those uh, to the extent that we can. Uh, we also have factory and licensing expansion. We'll be in all the states, U.S. states and Canada. Um, and then we're looking to expand to these other three locations so we can hit all of the United States and Canada population. Um, this year, we'll do about 23 million in revenue. Next year, 70 million will be profitable in 2024. And we're hoping in 2025 to be in the 150 range. We think we'll have a true hockey stick here uh, based on the interest we have in our units. We hope to save 30% of cost in building and 50% of schedule. When you start doing ground site work, we will be building your boxes. When you finish your site work and your podium is cured, the units will be arriving fully finished and furnished to be set on that podium. So it makes the schedule half as long. We're raising capital right now to complete the first multi accelerate this growth in the next few years. We We'll come to a family project. It'll, we hope everything will be set by the end of this year. Um, and uh, people will be moving in mid-year next year. Uh, we want to broaden our regional presence uh, by installing homes in, in very visible areas in the surrounding states. And uh, then we want to scale the factory, uh, add shifts, uh, personnel, and facilities, add on to our facility and page, which we'll talk about in just a moment. We're investing uh, in the future of housing uh, and hope you will join us. Uh, we are on WeFunder. If you go to wefunder.com backslash Zenny Home, uh, you'll see that we've raised over a million dollars there this last month. Uh, we also have an opportunity zone for those who are sheltering capital gains, short or long term, and a Reg D accredited investor offering. So in total, we're raising $25 million, five crowdfunding, and 20 with Opportunity Zone and Reg D accredited investor in, uh, investments. So what's next for us? Uh, we want to expand our factory in PAGE to be the most productive housing factory in the world. That's what President Nigren wants as well, the president of the Navajo Nation. So we've hired the Swiss, uh, the, the Swedish folks to come in and show us how to do that. And here's a little video uh, that shows um, what we're planning to do. This is Navajo generating station without the power plant. The white box is Zenny Home, our current box where we fab fabricate today. We have all these paved areas and leasable, the, the land has been leased on a 75 year lease uh, to be here. This is uh, what the, Swe uh, the Swedes are uh, recommending. Uh, we think we can get between 25 and 50 homes a day out of this facility, it's 300,000 square feet smaller than the Autoval facility in Boise that's 500,000. But because we're staying with the same exact basic units, one and two, small and large, and then modularize how they get assembled, uh, we're able to build in a smaller footprint, but get more volume out without changing and building snowflakes in that factory. So as you go into the building, you'll see here that we have um, we use combi lifts that haul uh, containers in uh, ports of call. Uh, we bought the one we have now is from Oakland. Uh, there'll be cold foam rollers, uh, cold foam uh, 
forming machines. Uh, we have the most uh, advanced and fastest one in the world right now in our factory. It's a half a million dollar machine. It can make a mile and a half of light gauge steel studs. We use 16 gauge galvanized steel studs. And we can make a mile and a half an hour with all the penetrations and screw dimples and everything so that the uh, these can just be screwed together by the robot. You then have um, a somewhat manual process to get the electrical harnesses, the plumbing uh, in those walls that are sheetrocked and ready to go. There's insulation that then gets installed here. And then you go to a cladding phase where the outside cladding is attached. And these fully complete units, floors, ceilings, and walls, then get married into our car, you might say car chassis. That's being built on the opposite side of the factory there. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and uh, open this up for conversation. OK, so we have uh, the youngest president in Navajo history who's a construction guy with a PhD. Bill Gates funded his education. Bill Gates is a good friend of his. They just spoke together in, at the NAU commencement in, in Flagstaff last month. Um, so we're very excited to have him uh, as our president. Uh, they have hundreds of millions of dollars of ARPA money, CARES money, housing money uh, to build houses on the nation, but they didn't have a mechanism to provide those uh, with the quality that they wanted and the price that they wanted. So this is a uh, uh, funds are available. Now we have a housing factory available. Uh, that can provide them to them the model the 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 style they want the colors that they want um, and uh, we'll have many years of home building for them in page so uh, all funded by the federal government okay kenna how do we want to take questions i see a lot of uh, chats here so <laughs> how do you want to do this yeah, we've gotten lots of great questions in the chat. I slacked you all of them as they've come in. So if you want to go to your Slack, you can see all of them in a list or um, you'll be able to see them in the chat. I can also read some off to you, whatever your preference is. Okay, let's, uh, let's take the first one you think I should answer and we'll go from there and I'll get my Slack up here. Okay, perfect. Um, and I apologize because I don't have your names associated with these, but someone did ask if this recording will be made available after the webinar ends. And yes, all of our webinars are uploaded to our website. We'll share that link with you once it's uploaded. So if you missed anything today, don't worry, we are going to upload this recording and you'll have access to it um, after this is over. Let's see, this was a fun question. Someone is wondering if the units can be shipped by rail there in Canada, and they think that it could bring down the cost for a multi-unit development. Yes, and the answer to that is absolutely. Uh, anywhere you can ship containers. The only difficulty we might have on trains is that if they were counting on a double-decker uh, rail car, we, we did go an extra two and a half feet tall. You'll notice high cubes can only be stacked on a train one uh, deep, uh, one high, and we'll have that same uh, difficulty. Uh, uh, so it'll be a single unit on a train, uh, but it definitely is the width uh, and the length that fits perfectly uh, for container uh, transport, transcontinental intermodal transport. Uh, another person is wondering if the patios are included. Yes, the decks, uh, the decks and awnings are included. The breeze soleils are included. Uh, the automated beds are included. Um, and uh, washer dryer, uh, refrigerator, all your kitchen appliances um, are included. Uh, so we like to say you could move right in uh, with a suitcase. Uh, if you want to add a few other little pieces uh, to make it yours, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, but we're trying to make this as complete, as finished, and furnished as possible. Awesome. Next question, Bob. Have you started mass production, and how long does it take to have a unit made? Yes, we have um, currently well over 200 units in the queue, uh, in addition to the 90-unit 
uh, multifamily project that's going to be built here in Mesa. Uh, we've got well over several million dollars of deposits that we've taken uh, for the units that are committed. Um, so we will we'll be working hard this year to get all of the units out for the the uh, 100 unit project, the 90 unit project. Uh, we've got another 14 that are built and going out to customers before that. Um, and then we're going to try to really get quicker at this and hope to get, uh, we're going to start out here about one a day, one home a day, and hope uh, very quickly to move to three homes a day. And until we get that expanded facility where we can do 25 to 50 homes a day, we're probably going to be in our current facility kind of stuck in the neighborhood of three per day. So that's about a thousand homes a year in that current factory. And we hope to get that number up in the five, six, seven thousand homes a year from the new expanded facility in page perfect and on that note we did have some people asking um how long the backlog is how long until i get my home so i encourage all of you to reach out to support at zennyhome.com i'll throw that into the chat if you're still waiting on an answer from us for your specific unit please send an email to support at zenny home it's um, you'll probably get a response from me, but that way I can see your order and everything and get you the right answer. So um, I'll drop that in the chat. And if you have specific, specific questions about your order, please reach out. Next question for you, Bob. Can you purchase several units and have them connected so you can walk from inside one to the inside of the other? Yes. In fact, as we've negotiated with the Navajo Nation, they want up to five bedrooms, three baths. Uh, for some of the larger families and so we have a beautiful um, a beautiful combination of the two two bedroom units with a beautiful interstitial space between them for gathering and then a one bedroom unit uh, on the uh, on the end of that so essentially you would have five bedrooms three baths uh, and we don't change anything in the factory uh, these come and uh, sit down and, and mate together beautifully so uh, we can do one, two, three, four, five bedrooms, one, two, three bathrooms uh, very easily. And then if you're willing to stack, we can even get uh, more than that. I guess you could even start adding more on a Rambler style. So uh, feel free to uh, um, put these together as you see fit. We have lots of ideas that we'll share with you. Okay, next question. Are you planning on building for extreme weather events like hurricanes? Thank you. We had our structural engineers uh, three years ago. They had very simple marching instructions. This has to work in Miami with hurricanes. It has to work in Los Angeles on the San Andreas Fault for earthquakes, and it has to work in Park City, Utah. If it can meet those three cities, then it's good enough to go onto our, in, into our mass production box. Uh, we're overbuilding, of course, to do that, but we wanted to have the factory be able to print this, make the same thing every time and not be in this uh, snowflake business of building different things for different areas. So we are we are, we are overbuilding, uh, but we are designed to be 95% uh, of any place you would want to build a home in, in Canada, anywhere in North America. And we hope to be in uh, Hawaii wants this really bad as well. So... Uh, you know, these set on stilts and everything. If you had, if you wanted to be near the beach and get, get at least some feet off the ground, that's what we're for. We're built to be on pylons. Uh, it could be on 10 foot tall pylons so that a tsunami would have to be pretty big to impact your uh, beach house. So that's, that's what we're doing. Awesome. Patricia is wondering with all the windows, what are you seeing for utility bills in Arizona? Uh, Patricia, we just uh, went off. Uh, we just we did a grid connect here uh, in Mesa. It's 116 degrees. Uh, I think today out here, I'm sitting in a very comfortable uh, air conditioned space inside of our unit. In fact, uh, I promised uh, before I did the event today that I would uh, show people uh, this beautiful uh, unit that we have here. Uh, I'll walk around in just a moment and give you a bit a bit more of a tour, but uh, it's uh, very comfortable inside. We are um, uh, we are doing our best uh, to make sure that this is uh, very efficient 
These can come with solar panels, inverters, and batteries installed. These can be grid free or grid connected, uh, grid tied. We just did a, we were grid free here until two weeks ago. Uh, we're now doing, uh, a, we did a grid, a grid connect, and uh, we will be publishing shortly uh, what the utilities look like, uh, solar generated power and grid power uh, with the net, uh, the net difference. So we're, we will be sharing that with you shortly. We have a lot of insulation. Uh, there are six inch uh, stud walls, floors, ceilings, uh, steel studs with rock wool. We have another two inches of foam in the uh, panel on the outside to prevent thermal bridging. Uh, through that steel into the unit. Um, so it's going to be very energy efficient. We'll, we'll prove it and put it up on, uh, put it up for everybody to see here in the next 30 days when we get our first bill when we're grid tied. Great. Bill is wondering, of the thousand folks who lost jobs with the closure of the coal plant, how many are currently employed at your page factory? We have 120 employed there, Navajos, that were working at SRP. Uh, vast majority of them were, um, and then we have 300 of them that lost their jobs that are waiting for us to be able to hire them. We hope to go to a second shift here shortly. We have plenty of work. Uh, we're just working through all the issues, uh, first production units, uh, working through the kinks, and then we fully expect to hire a second shift. Uh, the new facility will require even more people, so we'll we'll have. If we don't hire everybody back, it'll be the vast majority. Okay, we have a question here from Barbara about the furniture included. So she was wondering about the automated beds. She read that the ceiling bed was an extra cost. Do you wanna talk about that? Yeah, thank you. I, I should have uh, clarified. We, we do have the transforming furniture included. Um, this particular bed that I'm setting on is an extra, it's a premium price. Uh, but you will have furniture that does all the transforming that we're showing you here in the base price. If you want to go upgrade to this unit, uh, that's the extra 15000 Thanks. Um, okay, we have a lot more questions, but we are running short on time. So don't worry, we have all of your questions saved. We will be sure to reach out to you after the webinar if we weren't able to answer it um, today. But Bob, I wanna give you a little bit of time at the end here just to talk about the investment opportunities available. And then if you wanted to walk around the home since you're there as well. Yes, and I forgot to mention the price. The small unit is $90,000, uh, unless you wanna add solar or some extra thing to it. Uh, the larger unit is 125. Um, and uh, so per door in an apartment building, uh, you can kind of be in the $100 range mix. Um, the first building we're building is 30, uh, a third studio apartments and two thirds, the two bedroom. Um, as I walk around the unit here, I'd like to uh, make sure that you understand that we have ADA approved bathrooms. So developers that are, I'll have uh, my wife here, if you'll open some of these things for me here, Chris. Uh, the, the refrigerator here is uh, the first thing we'll show you, you have a beautiful, a beautiful Bosch refrigerator here, full washer dryer, I mean, full freezer refrigerator. Uh, down below the refrigerator, the freezer. Um, we're walking into the kitchen here. A beautiful galley, beautiful galley kitchen. I wish I would have done a better job of not making you sick as I spin this thing around, but you can see how spacious it really feels. This is, uh, as I go, from the kitchen into, we have a stackable washer and dryer here. Do you want to close that up, honey, and show them that the cabinets look really nice when the when that's not being used? Now I'm going into the bathroom. The bathroom is full ADA compliant. It's uh, what we call a, a European uh, wet bathroom where everything is uh, goes to the drain. Um, you got uh, uh, beautiful Toto toilet there and uh, beautiful sink. Um, so bathroom is full ADA compliant for wheelchair access. Now we'll go to the second bedroom, which is as you approach it, you'll see we have a dining room. 
spacious enough to uh, have a nice group over for dinner. And then as we go into that dining room, we have an office um, that has a really lovely um, high tech. This is an example for the, I think someone asked the question about Ori's Extra. Um, this is a wilding bed product out of St. George, Utah, sold to the Ritz-Carlton. Um, so these kinds of things can be done um, included in the price. So you get all of the transforming nature of the furniture, um, but it doesn't have to be the robotic furniture. You'll notice the office never moved. The, the telephone, the, the um, printer, everything stayed on the desk, went under the bed automatically. Um, so just uh, that's where you get your two bedrooms. Uh, this end of the home is a dining room. It's an office. It's a bedroom. The other end of the home that we just uh, were in is the master bedroom. Um, it's the, in fact, let's go ahead and, Christy, why don't you show them how the Ori furniture works here. Let's uh, first go into a walk-in closet. So this is a, so here's a, here's a walk-in closet uh, on motor. And uh, you literally can walk into the closet here that disappears during the day. Your clothes don't need to be in a big old room, you know. You can, uh, you can absolutely live with this closed. So now there's the unit. There's the Ori closet closing. You don't need to be in there. And then we'll go to the, um, we'll go to the, the Ori bed, which is very cool. And we'll uh, take and show you how the bed works here. The bed comes down out of the ceiling. This can be voice command or, um, or it can be used on an app on your phone. You'll notice the things on the ground. It doesn't matter. It just sits on top of the sofa, sits on top of the coffee table. And uh, when you want to put it away after you get up in the morning, it has a very, it has UL approved sensors, so little kids and pets can't be caught under it or in it. Um, Chris, if you'll put the bed back up. So there's the bed going back up to be stowed in the ceiling. So no more dust, dust bunnies under your bed. Uh, you actually use that room throughout the, day, the course of the day. And, uh, so that's, uh, I can take you over to the small unit here. Um, looks like we have guests in it taking a tour. So I'll just give you a visual from here. There's the small unit, the studio unit uh, with two families touring it right now. Last week, uh, 11 homes were sold on these tours. Um, and we're not actively advertising it. So this is, uh, we know that there's a lot of interest uh, in there. Can you, could you see it or did I make you ill? <laughs> no, I could see it. Uh, it looked good. I know we had some people who had a hard time seeing it. So I'll post the link. If you want to come see them for yourselves, they are there in Mesa. And like Bob mentioned, we offer tours and we are also working on getting a tour up online for anyone who can't make it out to Mesa. Uh, so we definitely want everyone to be able to come see these. We need a proper photographer to do this, not me. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job, Bob. Thank you. Okay, well, we appreciate it. And uh, we do have, uh, I see a question on preferred lenders and we do have lenders both in Arizona and uh, most of the other states uh, that are Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, these units attached to the ground and therefore you can get a regular 30 year mortgage like a stick frame home. And, uh, uh, somebody asked if you can add the solar later for sure. Um, we'll share this information. 
Um, the, the address of the models is 29 South Robeson in Mesa. The looking for on Monday, 90 unit project that we're doing a groundbreaking is at 29 West Main Street. So we must like 29, the number 29, both of our addresses are 29 South Ropes and 29 West Main. So um, come, and see, come and see us and then we'll welcome you as well in Page for a, a tour of our factory. Uh, we're very open uh, and with our information and what we're trying to do here. Um, and please, uh, again, um, $250 minimum investment on crowdfunding. So join our shareholder family uh, for just $250. Uh, and then if you have $25,000 uh, burning a hole in your pocket, we have the accredited investor uh, Reg D offering, either opportunity zone or non-opportunity zone. Uh, doesn't matter which, which way you go there. And we'd love to have you become part of our, our shareholder family. Help us grow. We'll eventually go public, I'm sure. This is a company, I've taken two companies public, SkyMall, uh, and then we had a power company that we took public. Um, so I'm very comfortable with that. When I was at Pricewaterhouse, I took companies public for a living. Um, so I understand the, the ropes, it's not easy, but uh, it's sure nice when people wanna exit and take their investment, take their gains and uh, move on. So uh, we, that'll probably happen in the next two or three years. So thank you. Appreciate uh, appreciate everyone being here with us. And uh, uh, we took just an hour. Perfect. Thank you, Kenna. Thanks, Bob. And thanks all for joining us. See you soon.